Welcome to the East Wing Podcast. My name is Kevin Moross. I'm Alex Walters. And I'm Chris Bell. Alright, so this is our, this week's special guest next door to Alex and Coleman. Also, there's a distinct lack of Coleman in this episode because he decided to be lame and go home in the morning. So, yeah. So, tell me a little bit about yourself, Chris. I know you, but no one else knows you. Uh, I'm a mass comm major. I'm 19. I'm single, so, you know. <laughs> um, that's about it, really. I like sports. He likes sports. Your, um, your favorite sport is soccer, right? Yes. Like, you're a diehard Atlanta fan. Uh, not really diehard, but I definitely will argue my point to people <laughs> who try to say they're bad. Comments. Comments. They shouldn't have won. Assholes. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got Atlanta's got to get some sort of um, championship, one way or another. Man, when the Falcons fail, Atlanta United came through, you know. And I'm the happy. Bulldogs failed. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. God. It's still tender. I'm still tender. I, I still remember seeing my dad. He threw his phone at the wall, and I had to drive him home because he had been uh, having fun that night. And he oh just, I walk outside, and he's sitting, his ass is on top of the car, and his feet are sitting on the windshield. His head's in his hands. <laughs> and I walk out there, and he looks up just in time to just throw the keys to me. I barely caught him, and I was like, all right. Okay, Dad. <laughs> I only got my license a week ago. Uh, man. Some things are that deep, but I don't think that it was that deep. I mean, one my friend Austin threw his dr- almost threw his drink at the laptop that we were watching it on Ooh. in the uh, third quarter when we started fucking dying. God. I'm it, thinking of the Georgia State game against uh, Alabama. Georgia State? Not Georgia what? State. Oh, my UGA. God. I can't fucking think right now. Oh, UGA. Yeah. Fuck me. Go dogs. I remember yeah, watching that at a friend's house, and you know we were all confident, sitting there thinking, "There's no way Georgia can blow this." And There's then no we, way we pull an Auburn. And then we get into overtime and lose, and I'm sitting there thinking, "How in the world does this happen to us?" <laughs> it was the same thing with the Falcons going into halftime up what twenty eight nothing or twenty eight three. I thought it was twenty one. It was twenty eight to three. Yeah, oh, that hurts so bad. It, <sighs> Don't worry, we got a Super Bowl coming up in a couple weeks. I am not watching. Actually, it. I think the Super Bowl is going to happen the day before this one comes out, which actually is pretty good. Yeah, I personally won't be watching the Super Bowl. I'll be the Rams fan for a day. I cannot yeah. stay the Patriots. Yeah. No. That's that's the one reason why I'm there not watching. There has to be a Super Bowl. That's literally like the only reason that people are okay with it. There yeah. has to be one. Like, I hope the Rams win. It's just I'm not watching it because as soon as I heard, oh, Patriots are in, I'm like, yep, nope. This is the third year I'm seeing the Patriots in it, and I'm not watching it. No. I saw a, um, a picture on Twitter. It was one of the quarterbacks for the Patriots, and it was like one of those like posters that you put on your wall. It was just like throwing shit at it, just <laughs> pencil box, laptop, everything. It was crazy. Ooh. Big old oof for that one. <laughs> It's that we're all a bit tired. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get that vibe. Especially coming from my deep voice. <laughs> That's nice. That's Does anybody <laughs> else think that... Like, this is my personal opinion. I feel like the Pro Bowl should be after the Super Bowl. Like, it should be AFC and NFC Championships one week. The next week, Super Bowl. And the week after that, it's the Pro Bowl. That way, we truly see, like... The best. The yeah. best players. And yeah. The, yeah, that sounds a lot better than having the conference games and then the Pro Bowl and then the Super Bowl. Because if you get a Pro Bowl nominee nomination and you make it to the Super Bowl, you're not going to the Pro Bowl because you're gonna worry about getting injured in the Pro yeah. Bowl. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't you can't play to your full like that there that's whew, that's that's the whole problem with like having different games at different times is that people are people are worried about injuries. Coaches mainly. Mm-hmm. And the Pro Bowl doesn't really have any like big effect on anything because I know in um, well you get a lot of like MVP stuff from the yeah you get they get money but like (laughs) I mean they're professional athletes they get money in any game that they play yeah 
But like Double in, that the, if they in win. the MLB, like don't isn't it like whoever wins the All Star game, like the comp or the division that wins the All Star game, they get home field advantage for yeah the yeah World Series yeah they, I I don't know exactly because I don't know a lot about baseball, but yeah, I know that I know. one of the stipulations is that you get home field advantage yeah, if that, you win your division. I mean, I feel like that would add like more fun to the Pro Bowl. I've never watched a single Pro Bowl game just because like Me neither <laughs> none of my favorite players are ever in it because. They're either in the Super Bowl or they just don't like feel like playing in it. Yeah, I've seen a few Pro Bowls. It's a fun, just small game to watch because you it's have definitely like a kickback, get on the sofa, get some chips, some salsa. Yeah, because just... I mean, you can have people from one team you really like be on one team, but you also have people from a completely different team you like be on the other. So you're sitting there thinking, either way, I'm winning. I guess it's like um, it's like in the Lego movie. It's all, always ro- always ro- ro- oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> always root for the local home team. Go team! <laughs> it's me watching any sports. <laughs> Let's go, guys! Yeah. One thing. Oh shit! Really, that guy's from Georgia. Let's go. One thing that's really helped me get more into like watching the NFL because I used to just watch the Falcons and like that was just a little bit. But once I started playing fantasy football. Oh. It made every game interesting because, like, I either am rooting for one team so my team does really well, or I'm rooting, like, against a team. And if my favorite team, like the Falcons, lose, if I say I had Drew Brees as my starting quarterback like I did this year, Drew Brees puts up 40 points against the Falcons, yeah. that makes that loss a little bit less bad <laughs> for me. Yeah, it's a little less sting. Yeah. Shit. You, have him, you had him on your lineup? I had... Drew Brees. I had a stacked lineup this year. <laughs> I had Drew Brees, Sony Michelle, Ooh. Christian McCaffrey, Antonio Brown, <laughs> Odell Beckham, DeAndre Hopkins, Beckham. <laughs> Odell, Zach Ertz, and then I had the Lions kicker. Who? Can we talk about how he threw a touchdown pass? Oh man, that was crazy. Like I've never seen. I've seen like. I've never gawked. Teams. I've never gawked at a TV until I saw that. I was like. <laughs> I've seen what? plenty of special teams touchdowns, like where a punter throws anything, but I've never seen a kicker like a straight a up dedicated snap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was new. Oh my goodness! Speaking of like snaps and stuff like that, this is completely stupid. So on last Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, okay. birthday, or whatever. Is it is it like Martin Luther King Jr. Day, or do you call it's just it his birthday? Holiday. I don't think it's his birthday. It, it's not his it's birthday. The fir- it's like the, f- the last. The second to last Monday of every... The third Monday of third January. Third Monday of January. Mm, okay. I'm trying so to be it's, too specific. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went bowling with the Teak guys, and they did one of... Two of them did, like, a whole thing where they were, like, starting, starting, like, down, set, hike, and he just fucking threw the bowling ball through his legs backwards. Did he get a strike? He didn't get a strike. Uh, but, I mean, he got more than we thought. So he got, like, three. He got three. <laughs> <laughs> It's the craziest thing watching people who are good at bowling. Oh, and then people who are good at getting points just because they're strong, because it's so different. Yeah. Because some of the best bowlers, they're like They don't even small. like rip it down there. They just like have the right yeah, amount that's, of curve that's the and whole it hits thing. at the right angle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just throw it as hard as I can. Yeah. yeah I'm, my, pray and pray. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I used to be decent at bowling, but... Now it's just kind of it's kind of bad. Oh my goodness! I was thinking of something to say. I will say back to the topic of football. Isn't it weird how two Georgia players are going in the Super Bowl against each other? Two Georgia running backs. Yeah. Too. You have Todd Gurley on the Rams, and then Sonny Michelle for the Patriots. Oh my God, that's right. That's weird. There's a lot of Georgia players that play for yeah. the Patriots. Now I think about it, does Alec Ogletree still play for the Rams? I th- I think I'm so. Not sure. I think so. Jamie, can we get a can we get a Google search? I'll, I'll search. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we all watched the Joe Rogan podcast here or listened to it. Yeah, right? I've you... watched it or listened to it a couple of times with a guy I worked with at the greenhouse. His name was Peyton. Oh, that's good. Peyton Manning himself. Oh yeah, the man, the myth, the legend. Sure. <laughs> with that big old forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Just whoosh. It's like McKay's hairline. <laughs> what oh, hairline? <laughs> Oh my goodness! I did the crazy. a break. <laughs> I, I did the craziest snapback. We were at um, Longhorns for Austin's birthday, and he was like something something. 
like unimportant. I was like unimportant, like your hairline, and everyone lost their shit because I had been quiet for most of the dinner. That was pretty entertaining. Just you have to pick your moments. That's what D- it is. exactly. It's like why don't you talk? I don't. I, this is why I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't talk because <laughs> I'm a stuttering asshole. Anyway, um, so with Mass Calm, what are you going to be doing with that? Um, or what are your what are your hopes and aspirations? The original plan was to be a sports broadcaster, but I'm still considering things, I guess. But I really like talking about sports, so hopefully that works out. Yeah, I mean, and it's only the it's only your freshman year, so you have time. Or just be me, be a business major for a couple months, and then just switch because I'm not trying to take calculus. It's not the only reason I switched, but. When I looked at the map, it was like, you only have to take one math. Good. Sign me up. Yeah, I got college algebra taken out, taken care of yeah. first semester. That's the, yeah, Gabe yeah. and I had this, ha- Gabe and I had that same class, isn't he? So on? Isn't he so? The yeah, worst? Ramit Wilson, yeah, he's on there. What? Ramit? We were talking about, we're talking uh, about Ogletree. Oh, him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I just like, went to the minute. Rams, and I saw George. I'm like, oh, that guy. Hold on. Ew, someone just peeked like crazy. Oofers. <whistles> anyway, so a percussionist who plays soccer. I know too many people like you. Yeah, it's really weird. that <sighs> like I know a lot of other percussionists that played soccer. None of them really stuck with, like, they either dropped one and continued the other whenever they got to college. I I had to get out with y'all, man, sometime. Kick a ball around, have some actual fun. For sure. <laughs> Once it's not freezing cold outside, that would be really It's not nice. even that cold outside. Like, Actually, I'm today, today, today is kind of nice. Today is amazing. Yeah, no, he's not on the Rams. Oh, really? Where is he? I have no idea. I don't know how to spell his name. Five minutes later. <laughs> I really don't know how to spell his name. I can't think of any Georgia quarterback other than Matthew Stafford that's actually like done something in the NFL. Um, off the top of my head, Aaron Murray he did a little bit with the Chiefs for like a couple yeah for a couple of years. I think he was wasn't he their second string though? Yeah, he was in their second string. He threw a few touchdowns, but and then he just kind of dropped off. Yeah, now he's <sighs> DJ Shockley got drafted by the Falcons, was third string, and then started commentating immediately yeah. after that. I think that's what they all starting to do. It kind of reminds it's me like of... Once, once you do some big stuff, make some big wins, it's just... Yeah. Go. <laughs> it, enjoy the 60 million that you've made. Oh, God. What was... Tim Tebow. It reminds me of him. <laughs> he gets on, like, four different teams, and they just cut him. Isn't he playing for the Mets? I think something? he went... What? I think he went to play, but he's not. Hold on. I can pull this up. Huh. See, I'm taking a background in this conversation because I don't really talk about sports all that much. Because, literally, I don't really watch sports until, like, high school when, you know, I did marching band. So, hmm. that's where I started to learn about football. And then, I didn't really watch any pro or college teams until I came to college. <laughs> you yeah. want to get into football? Just start up a free fantasy league and just pick players. Then you're going to be watching the games to see how they yeah. do. I mean, I, I kept up. I kept up with the SEC pretty well uh this this season just because like most of the most of my friends were like watching it so it, it's entertaining yeah. i'd rather watch baseball tim tebow's an outfielder in the mets he's still what? playing yeah who knew <laughs> it reminds me of uh bo jackson i think it was there's Auburn. a couple players yeah bo jackson and Deion sanders they both yeah. did both uh, and then there was Michael Jordan, who had like a very small baseball career before he went back to basketball. Oddly enough, I found that out through Space Jam. Isn't it? Um, isn't the new Space Jam gonna have a uh, LeBron? LeBron? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna watch it. I mean, Space Jam's a classic, it. man. Space Jam, you got to. You got to yeah, watch. check it out. Is it, is it a sequel or is it a? It's uh, a sequel. Space Jam. 2. Okay. Yeah, I think it thinking it was like a reimagining. I think it comes out next year. I want to say. Oh, I, I really thought it was this year. <laughs> Hold on. The summer see. blockbuster hit of this century is Space <laughs> Jam Two with LeBron James. Like, how long are they gonna take to make it? Good, good lord. Well, I mean, all the animations. Well, still, well animating. They've is been hyping so it up much for better. How many years now? Two, three. 
Mm-hmm. And you think of like you think of movies nowadays. They have like how much CGI? Fifteen, they do? yeah, and they have like fifteen man graphics teams. It's ridiculous. So like if if they really wanted to, they can create a really good movie in about. I mean, I'd give it like a month. Speaking yeah, the, about CGI and uh, movies, Star Wars seven or eight. Why didn't they just kill Leia off? Whenever yeah. like, they had the chance. <laughs> Well, she's dead. That was such a <laughs> and weird... they kept her going for the entire movie. That's that's what I thought. Is like as soon as I saw that scene, I was like, okay, Rip Carrie Fisher, I miss you, I love you. Then, but then she did that weird force thing. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. No, I don't even know how I feel about that entire movie. I enjoyed the movie. Um, I saw it in theaters when it first came out. Yeah, I'm saying. And like. Not a lot happened in the movie, but it was still enough where I'm sitting there going, okay, I can get behind this. And it's mainly just because they had a different guy direct it. Yeah, I think, I mean, honestly, I think they, they should have kept J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Because um, he did he, a really good job with the, um, Force Awakens. Yeah. Like, I really enjoyed it. Didn't John Williams, like, say he's not, like, coming up with any scores for any more Star Wars? No, it's Giacchino now. Is it? I thought it was. I thought it's. Giacchino. I know John Williams said he was done. Yeah, because I know I know Giacchino did um, uh, Rogue One. Yeah, he right. Um, Are you oh. thinking of Solo? I never watched Solo. I want to um, watch it. Just it's on be- Netflix. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my I God. don't know how I felt about that. I feel like they mm. could have picked a better person to play Han Solo. Oh yeah, yeah they could have had a better person, and they could have just had a slightly better story. Definitely would... love Donald Glover though. Yeah, yeah. no, I saw. He is the most talented man I've ever seen. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Oh yeah, and Space Jam Two, they start filming in June. Oh, start good. filming? Yeah, because they had to do it during the off season. Oh, that's true. But they've been hyping it up for so long. Like there was like a full poster. Like, release poster. Yeah. Like, um, on the internet, like, ago. last year. Yeah, the poster is kind of dumbish, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like... It literally looks like they just took one of LeBron's many famous pictures he's known for and just Photoshop on it. The Definitely. way they, uh, like... Turn the temperature down, make it look cool. Yeah, the way they look. did that, it made it look like one of the old, uh... NWA album covers. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, speaking of Looney Tunes, I I have this app on my phone because I love trivia, and it gives me like two random facts a day. Mel Blanc, the person who voiced Bugs Bunny, is allergic to carrots. <laughs> what the? <laughs> wow. So random, right? Was... Alright, remind me not to play uh, Trivial Pursuit with you. <laughs> I mean, you can. It's like sometimes I'm like good at trivia. The other times it's like, wait, what state am I in? I'm really good at trivia crack, like just the sports questions. I keep just getting the sports, sports questions. questions and I'm like, bam. That's so, that's so lucky for you. It's sports, entertainment, and art. That's my three best. My best is um, science and entertainment. Looking up there, something interesting for me, big dog? Trying to see if he is doing... The recent Star Wars that's going to come out. Episode 9. Um, you know... That's coming out in December. Right? That yeah. should be, like... It, <clears throat> what I'm happy with the, is that they're taking a break from making, like, the side movies. And they're focusing on the main the yeah. s- trilogies. Because their whole... Disney's whole release schedule was literally, like, main movie, Star Wars story, main movie, Star Wars story, main movie, until someone dies. I heard... I really hope that, like, no, okay, you're starting what I was saying. I heard that if they do make a Kenobi movie, that they're going to get Ewan McGregor to play it. Yes. No, they are. They are? I yeah, saw, they're making I saw a, a fan trailer for it. No, they have, like, a legit teaser. And are you talking end. about the one where, it, like, it looks like, he, like he's on a desert? It's basically Ewan McGregor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. It looks really good. But I, that was, like, that released, like, two years ago. That's why I think it was, like, a fan trailer, not an official thing. And about um, John Williams, he's doing the score to episode 9, but after that he's retiring. Okay, for that's like fair. Making scores in general or just for Star Wars? For Star for the Star Wars franchise. Okay. Oh. Which is kind of surprising. I, I you mean, can't have Star Wars without Williams, I man. know. I mean, there's enough music from the... 
however many things he's done for Star Wars alone, mm-hmm. that they could just pull from those. And plus, um, I mean, Giacchino showed in Rogue One that you like you can make music sound Star Warsy, yeah. and not be John Williams. But uh, it's John Williams, though, right? Yeah, he's, he's had a crazy career, man. Yeah, he was actually hospitalized last year. Didn't he also write for the Indiana Jones? Movies? Yeah, he. There's Indiana hardly Jones. yeah. There's hardly a movie you can say where he hasn't done work for. He's done Jaws, Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones. Did a movie called Lincoln. That oh, was Lincoln was a good movie. It's a great movie. It, it's funny. I was watching a video on like movie soundtracks, and it's like the Avengers and like the Marvel movies don't have memorable themes, and they were like hum all like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and then try to hum the Avengers theme. And, yeah. Well, now, now that they're like shoving it, they saw that YouTube video. And it's like shove it down their throats. Captain America. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Oh. Did you guys like Infinity War? I, I haven't seen it. You have not seen it. It's, it's on, on Netflix. Yeah, it's on man. Netflix. Well, I guess I'll have to check it out. I personally did not enjoy it. Um, it is an all right movie. It, Simply because Marvel is doing what Marvel does and throws comedy in where they shouldn't. Like, um, they, they can, have a terrible knack for that. They took yeah. what was magical about like the two thousand eight Tony Stark. Oh, like God, that, that pretty much set the entire thing yeah. for like the dry humor. Yeah. But Iron Man and the first Captain America, oh. the those two are my favorite Marvel movies. Then after that, I kind of fell off. Iron Man two was. Kind of bad. I liked Iron Man 2. I liked Iron Man 3 more than I liked the second one. Really? Yeah. Oh, God, I hated the third one. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> like Marvel movies? <laughs> I kind of just stopped paying attention to Marvel movies after... Um, what was, let's see. What was the last Marvel movie I watched? Black Panther. Black Panther was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's up for... An Oscar, an Oscar uh, Best Picture. Yeah, I do not think it's going to win it because it's going up against like Bohemian Rhapsody and. Um, it won't beat out Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, no. There's that, no way. I will be honest. I cried at the end of Bohemian Rhapsody. That was a very sad movie. If we're talking about movies you cried at the end of. I cried at the end of Toy Story Three. Oh my gosh! So did I. I didn't. I. It there was just we like, have no soul. In my heart. No. You have no childhood. <laughs> That's what you're saying. That's what you just admitted to. The one movie that I legit bawled my eyes out in the movie theater, um, it was my birthday, and my dad took me to see a movie that me and him are di- were dying to see. It was American Sniper. Me and, oh. him, me and him had both read the book. We knew everything about him, so we're going in there, we're watching it, and it gets to the end, and they're showing the funeral, like the whole mile-long funeral um, escort they had. And I'm sitting there like, I could do it. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm hearing people, you know, sobbing, sniffling behind me, and I look over to see my dad lift his glasses and start wiping his eyes. Oh my god! As soon as I saw that, I lost it. Even right now, I'm getting chills yeah. talking about it. It's touching. Yeah, every time I watch that movie, I cry. Just you know what is a good movie? Or what I cried? Hmm. The Blind Side. Or, yeah, The Blind Side. Yeah, that, that is with, a good um, movie. Sandra Bullock and, uh... Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was in that movie. <laughs> yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah, I liked it. It's it's definitely Oscar baity, but Yeah. I mean, name movies that get nominated that aren't Oscar bait nowadays. Uh, I know. See stuff on TV like trailers that are like really trying to be like touching and stuff like please give me this Grammy. I'm begging for it, please. Um one movie which I was really mad that it wasn't in the Oscars cuz It was one of the best, it's still one of the best movies I've ever seen, best shot, best story ever, is Straight Outta Compton. It's a great movie. I don't think I've seen it. Are you kidding me? It's good. Granted, half of it seems like porn, because there's just (laughs) a lot of sex and a lot of nudity. I I mean, I don't think they overdid it. Yeah, they didn't overdo it because that's actually what they did. That's how easy, And it, it wasn't even really tasteless either. Yeah, no, it was. It wasn't like, all right, now we're gonna all right, cut now to put them. your boobs in front of the camera. Yeah, no, just hold it there for a little bit. One thing, what made me love that movie so much was just how it was shot. It was beautifully shot. Mm-hmm. I think, um, I think I cried in that movie. 
I didn't cry, but I did laugh at the end. Solely for the fact... Okay, it's a touching moment where you find out Easy has AIDS uh-huh. and he's not going to live ma- like much longer. The doctor comes in, he goes, you have AIDS. I laughed after Easy E's line where he goes, but I'm not a faggot. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. My favorite movie probably... I don't know why. It's just I love Kingsman. Oh, that's so good. That's 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 an like, example. It's well so, shot action. It's yes. so genius. Like you get Samuel Jackson to be the bad guy, and everybody's like, "Oh His my gosh, he's a badass!" And then, <laughs> I love yeah, it. and then you're ready. He's like, "Oh, he's gonna say some badass line," and he has speaks with a lisp, and you're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah, he just comes up like, "Oh, Samuel Jackson, sup everybody," and you're like, "What?" <laughs> I had to rewind because I thought there was something wrong with my speakers. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest. He went from Samuel L. Jackson to Mike Tyson in like two seconds. <laughs> and then, did you guys like Kingsman 2? I enjoyed I, it. I enjoyed half it Half-watched Kingsman 2 with my girlfriend, at least. Having Elton John have that a fight scene. That was so good. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. How do they call they're, aren't they making a third one? They better be. They, they have to I make a third one. I think they're making a third one. Please make a third one. I love the fact that they decided to bring America into it and called it like Statesman and had it just be like straight up yeah. whiskey. <laughs> and then they had yeah. codenames code name based on uh, what is it? Um, yeah. Uh, whiskey was one of them. Uh, uh, there was tequila. Tequila. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Bourbon? Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum was tequila. In that movie. <laughs> I didn't. I I laughed when they like did the zoom in to the belt buckle saying <laughs> Satan statesman. Like, that is probably the one time I'm like, you know what, Channing Tatum's all right. It's all right in this I'm, movie. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of him, but for this one, I'm like, you know what, I can get behind him for this movie. I don't really know about the others. I'll stick to Magic Mike, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm kidding. Um, he was in this. He was in a comedy. It's like these three parents are trying to keep their daughters from like losing losing their virginity on prom night. He was in oh cockblock, cockblock, yeah. Wait, isn't that Channing Tatum? No, no, I don't that's think so. Channing Tatum. No, I don't think Channing Tatum was one of them. I think no, John that's John Cena fucking was, John Cena. Cena. That's who it was. Uh, it wasn't Channing Tatum. Like it was John Cena. I got that totally mixed up. Yeah, you did a little bit. John but, Cena was funny in that movie, but then again, it was just John Cena playing John Cena. Literally, like, all of his little tropes, you know, the tucked-in cargo shorts. Every little thing John Cena's in, he's wearing the same fucking thing and doing the same fucking <laughs> thing. Like, why was he Fred's dad in the Fred movie? Can we also talk about how garbage that movie was? I oh blocked that. I've, like... I forgot that that was even a thing until someone said, can we... Please, just don't forget that John Cena was in this, and I was like, oh. God damn it, guys. Damn it. <laughs> oh, why'd you have to remind me? And like, yeah, no, as I've, a kid, because that came out when we were like, what? That was like 2008. Yeah, I was with a 7 or 8. We were young. 7 or 8. And, and you're like, oh, this is... man. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is pretty funny. But then, you know, you get older, you're like, this is so stupid. Like, how did we not just blow our brains out listening to this? <laughs> hey, guys! Oh, my god! I get annoyed whenever I hear a four-year-old talking <laughs> to me, let alone a grown man speaking with his voice turned all the way up. But yeah, no, that was YouTube back then, it. man. That was that was YouTube. Yeah. That's what made it. Now it's just Vine compilations. Now it's just Vine compilations. Vine compilations and music mashups. And TikToks. Oh my goodness. I miss Vine, honestly. I do. Yeah. If they kept it as Vine, I would have been fine. But now that there's Isn't TikTok. it the same people who made Vine that made TikTok? Mm. TikTok? <laughs> hey! <laughs> you want a TikTok? Fuck, I'll take a TikTok if you're offering some. <laughs> The candy cane flavor. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. Oh, so mint. I mean, my grandma, <laughs> my grandma gave them to me. Don't, don't be shitting on my free Tic Tacs. <laughs> never, never. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm trying to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> Let it be known that Alex poured a whole. Okay, I got five. All right. That was his eye. Did that go into the trash can? No. I think it did. Or the little snack box box there. It went to. Cold Alex box. poured a whole pile of. It was only five <laughs> on his hand. But uh, no, the same people who did vines are aren't doing TikToks. I've only seen one. It was person. musically, right? It's musically combined with something else, right? Yeah. So, Does I remember th- those those? Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, those ads used to be musically ads. 
Yeah. Like the annoying ones that you see on Instagram and. Does Does Facebook or Google have a share in TikTok? Because if they don't, that they're gonna get on that soon. Probably. It wouldn't surprise me. Add stories to TikTok. <laughs> Everything nowadays has a story. YouTube. Crazy. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, Facebook. I've never watched a YouTube story. I've never watched a YouTube Facebook story. story. Nobody posts YouTube or Facebook stories. I yeah. see them, though. None of my friends on Facebook. Actually, no, there is this one girl who posts annoying stuff, but other than that. The only person I've seen on Facebook to have a story is Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> I followed him a while back, and I just haven't unfollowed him. Dale's not dead, he's just one lap ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. How many times did you hear that at the Teak House? Um, actually, not at the Teak House the last night, but the last time when we were driving back from bowling, or that at least once. <laughs> All right, guys, we're hitting 30 minutes, so you want to keep on going? I mean, I got nothing to do for another hour. I've got nothing to do until Gabe texts me. Good, good, good. Well, I'm going to cut it off because I have to go to the bathroom. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can just go to the bathroom, man. All right. I mean, we did that last time. Yeah. Oh, I got a hair in mine. That's good. Wow. Trying to hair poison me here? Yeah, gate. Oh, my goodness. You already know. <laughs> you will try, but you will not succeed. I'm resilient. <laughs> I do not hate. Don't you, don't you hate when you get random calls? Yeah, I, I don't know. I get them all the time. Yeah. It's If it's not from Carrollton or, like, a town that I... And like I've been in or do things and I just turn it off or yeah um if it doesn't have anybody's name I don't pick it up unless it's a Carrollton number yeah because if it's Carrollton it's either like the, a job a place that I've applied at a job for or it's the bookstore saying hey your textbooks are in yeah <laughs> uh that and I gig down at a church so sometimes they just give me a random call like hey uh thank you for coming out and all that or they're wanting me to come down and play for some other random thing i mean hey whatever money's money right yeah i mean i'm getting paid roughly a thousand bucks from that good lord i wish it's not all going to me it's like 750 or 700 is a scholarship and then i get paid with food over there and then for like certain events i get paid a check that i can use but hey, still. Yeah, money's money. Money is money. Seven hundred dollars scholarship is nice though. Yeah. I mean it's small but I mean it's more than what we're I would get in marching band next year since I'm yeah. not a major. But I'm just glad that sophomores are now open to scholarships if you're not a music major doing marching band now. Yeah. That's very helpful. That is. And it should have always been like that. Yeah. Because you're taking time out of your schedule to do this that you are nowhere near required to do. Yeah. It's fun, though. Yeah. I can tell you all have a great time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what was your... Uh, what did you just hear from us? Like, just the random things as we were walking back to opening set or whatever? Yeah, just random stuff. Like... My favorite thing, I have a video on my phone of, uh, it was a snare cam that I did, and I just had my phone right here in between my chest plate and, like, my chest, so I'm just sitting there marching, and, uh, we get done with, uh, J. Ray's Cadence Needs Some Milk, and, <laughs> great title, and, uh, it was the, which, it was one of the games, I think it was, might have been Homecoming, and, um, it was the one like where we skipped La Suerte and we went right into Spain and they yeah. say, and trumpet soloist, uh, Alex Walters. And I was like, ooh, he's a freshman. <laughs> like, it's an audible. <laughs> so I was just like going. And then, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that, was, that was an experience. I did not expect to have that happen. Did you, you like having the like solo, having though? solo? I loved the having show? it. I loved having it because I got to play my flugelhorn. And if... If I could just permanently play flugelhorn, I would. I love it better than trumpet, personally, just because of the sound of it. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that was, that was just weird because I remember one day at band camp. Was, yeah, it was band camp. Um, 
trumpet section leader comes up to me after talking with Dr. Self. He goes, can you play that solo in Spain? I'm like, yeah. He goes, good, it's yours. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> I just got here. Look, man. <laughs> uh, I saw two football games, and then I saw a bunch of exhibitions. So, I appreciate yeah. it. You oh, did you brought... go to... You went to our exhibitions? I went to one of them at the Central. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That was a great Lisa and I had a nice little date. Are you guys, <laughs> Are you going to go to the ones next year? I might. You better. Oof. If I see you, I'll throw a stick to you. Oh, that's a fat bet. I have to go now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll make sure, like, if the drum line goes forward, like, and does an encore, like, thing, that like we did at Central last time. <laughs> that would be crazy. Just... Hey, I'd get done with it and just do that. I'd look for you, and I'd just, like, try to... I'd try to motion for you to go, like, either to the front row or, like, way back so I can just yeet it as far as I can to make sure no high schooler gets it. That way I can get it back eventually, but they're like, oh my god, oh my god, I got a stick, a college boy stick, oh. I will say, um, god, I think it was our last one we did, I can't even remember where that was. Oh, that was super country. But, um, I can't even remember what was, that was Okay, from. I'm sorry. I think it was in Rock Mart. I think so. Because that's where we got Zaxby's afterwards, right? Like, they, yes. That was, oh my god, that yeah. was the best meal I had all last semester. <laughs> but, I did get, like, the best picture of me playing. From that? Ooh! Oh, that's, that's a nice saucy. one. Do I have any good action shots from this year? I, I have a lot of action shots just because, like, just at the, be, at the home see, games. They see, oh, solo list! <laughs> <laughs> no, not to mention, I'm on the 50. Yeah. Like, the actual 50 number. So, I'm trying to get hired on to do photography for y'all. That would be fun. Oh, that would be, that would be great. You easily Here's one action yourself. shot. <laughs> hey, rock on, dude. Yeah, it's, it's not even the best action shot. I have to find it now. Uh, I just I, saw one and I was like, cool, that's it. But it's not it. Uh, this the, was the best one. This one got featured on Drumlines of America. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. Yes. I know it that's got featured on West Georgia's, but I didn't know it got featured on that. I got some funny action shots of me when I was in high school. So, um, rock on. Kevin, do you have a GoPro? Yes. Can I borrow that next year? Of if course. I don't Heck yes. I didn't know y'all enough to I like, talk to y'all. Like, it's, no, it I was literally right after you. marching season ended, pretty much, that we yeah. all just became really good friends. Yeah. No, you can definitely... I even have, like, the head head strap and everything. Yes. Oh, shoot. I'll, I'll do a cam for you, too. Dude, yeah. That would be great. I'm just wondering what our theme's gonna be. I I love this year's past theme, except for La Suerte. That one didn't fit. That one, I it sucked for me. No. Spain, it was fun. It was yes. energetic. And I liked just going... You could hear that over the entire band. <laughs> My tongue's out in this one. Lots of fun. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> 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 I'm like out here jumping and shit. <laughs> Why am I like that? Um, Kevin was the hype man for I really <laughs> was, honestly. Like, honest to God. Like, I would always be the one, like, we're behind the prop at the beginning, like, let's go. <laughs> the one you like the little squat point that I love to do. The one coolest thing that came out of March season was the fact that they would live stream the football games, and this was like the coolest shots I've had. <laughs> Although sadly, it was all ruined by my hair. <laughs> I was about to say you look like it's you're dying. Did, like rain or no? It was hot. Oh, it was sweat. Oh my yeah, that's why we're not in full uniform. Like it's brutal. But God, not to mention I. I don't think I got a haircut for like two months. And my hair was just, to me, long. So it was just matted down. I'm like, Ugh. Okay, so I know Drumline does this a lot, but did you guys ever have any audibles, like whenever you were marching, like e any time, like either college or high school? Oh, yeah. I, I kind of just made them all. What Again. do you think was your best audible? Um, so we're marching uh, next to like a flute line. And one of the flutes, my like one of my good friends, goes to a solo. So we're like, one, two, three, four, let's go, Veronica! <laughs> That's solid. It's very solid. It's just a it? lot of, like, meme shit just to make people laugh and mess up. <sighs> Pickens' drumline had a bunch of them. I came up with one my junior year. I'm very proud of it. It was so bad. I was. It was my first ever audible I came up with, and it just set a precedent for everything else. Everybody <laughs> was like, oh my gosh, Chris, you're coming up with the rest of the audibles. It was, uh, we were bored, and I was pissed because we were having a bad run, and I was like, 
All right, drums down, sticks up. That's the way I like to fuck. And then we just <laughs> came in with awesome. a big buzz roll. <laughs> then after that, it was just a bunch of songs. Like, we sang the fun song That's and the, the campfire like song. Fuck. Oh, yeah. My drum line was kind of good with theirs, but, like, they, they took a lot of the ones from Rune Nani Nas, like, That's tenor. what we did at first. Like, tenor. Yeah. <laughs> Four-door minivan, minivan. <laughs> I could watch that video, like, over and over. This is so funny. And plus, I love the sound of tenor drums. So. Gabe, in his snare cam video, it has over, like, a thousand views, too. It's crazy. I did, um, like, he, videos for my high school, and I got, like, 2,000 views on one of them. He, um... Shoot, what was it? He did this one, like, part, like, where they were just doing a recreation of all the audibles he's done throughout, like, his high school career. So it was his senior year. And uh, at one point, he had a, the Space Jam song. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think we had the Pokemon theme song in one of ours. That was fun. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta start working on audibles as soon as I get the music for next semester. It's just so much better with percussion because, like, you, one, you're not playing. Yeah. You're like with your mouth. Like yeah. your mouth isn't being taken up by a mouthpiece or a reed or something. You guys know the poem that's on Gabe's board, the Gimme Gimme Chicken Yes. Tenders? That was one of our audibles. <laughs> what? It was, uh, Gimme Gimme Chicken Tendies, be they crispy or from Wendy's, duck, duck, nut, juice. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to end it. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. I would, like, you know, you, you do, like, the subdivide, like, dot, 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 to start. I'd All do, right. like, I would, like, subdivide even more. Like, the, da, 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 go! <laughs> Especially when we're about to do like a real big set. It's fucking cross the field jazz running. The most I had to run in a show, other than like having to run to long train spot, where I had to run the whole field, was my senior year. I had a solo that was originally for saxophone, but I told my director, if I transpose this and play it, will you let me have the solo? He goes, go for it. Okay. Wow. So I ended up doing that. For my solo, we were coming around, and I had to break off from it and freaking sprint to where I was, in which I was in front of the drum major, like one of our drum major podiums. Oddly enough, was my girlfriend, so I felt more comfortable playing the solo. And um, wow. that worked out pretty well. Yeah, it did. I would do my solo, and I would always add stuff with it. Like at the end, I would just rip a high note and just run. <laughs> And then I had to run back to a different spot. And since we had a spy theme, I had to be in character. So the whole time, I'm, yeah, I'm doing <laughs> that. I'm just ducking down, looking around. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Let's see, um, it's crazy. So we had lines, like uh, vertical lines going up the field. And we pretty much like moved them, and I was on the end. So I was pretty much having to do like eight count sets going like three yard lines. It was terrible. And I was a sophomore, so you know I wasn't even the best marcher. Oh yeah, and I was still struggling, just running there, just like. <laughs> then the lottery features coming, shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember freshman year. I had to go from the forty-five on one side to the forty on the other in sixteen. Oh. And I was back marching, and if you look in the video, oh. if you look in the video, you see a kid, legs fully <laughs> spread out <laughs> as he's trying to keep balance while playing like da 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 da. And, oh my god, I never made it. If you look at the video, there's a straight line with a little dip in it. Ba -ba 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 I could try to pull it up. In Spain, ba -ba -ba -ba. in Spain this year, we had. Did you ever hear about the drumline having to get alternated set or like alternated moves? No. For a part? We had a part where we had to. Uh, shoot, I, I don't remember which part it was like in the piece, but like, I remember I had to go um, from like. I think it was the 50 to like the 35 Ooh. and then not even like take us like break like crabbing the entire way there and then we immediately had to go from the 35 to like the 45 Ooh. right after that's, that that's so a we, had, change we had to there. plant and then come across like, <laughs> like oh, my drum. there's nothing more satisfying than doing a really good plant and then almost go in the opposite direction that's really satisfying when you get it right oh yeah and then and then or you could just mess up your foot and just go flying Oh yeah, and then we had a uh, one. Uh, we had a pancake that we had to do at the end of it, and um, 
I always either uh, missed the pancake or I didn't hit my spot. Okay. Um, He's pulling up the video yeah. now. Uh, where am I? Right there. <laughs> Having to sprint and still never made it. Damn, that hurts. That, that hurts to see. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, hold on. Let's see if I can... I'll let you hear what I had to end up playing, which is weird because I was a freshman hey, playing. Before freshman. you do that, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the podcast because we're at uh, 45 minutes. All right. Do you want to do an outro? Sure. Right. Uh, Good nuts. Thank everyone for listening, and thanks for Chris for coming on and just talking with us. Thanks for having me. It was a blast. Yeah. Decided to take Coleman's spot, which is good. <laughs> it's good. Always yeah. good. He should be back n- next time, though. Just call me the new Coleman. <laughs> Much cooler, Coleman. (laughs) There you go. We'll see y'all later.